Hello everybody, today I have the pleasure to propose to you this key 50 entitled self-confidence. So, as usually, we're going to proceed in four steps. The first one will be um, the definition of the concept to make sure that we are on the same page, that everything is clear, crystal clear regarding this topic. Secondly, we will see the scope, the field of application and the reason for being to be self-confident. And so this time we're going to combine techniques plus tips. We combine together and uh, we will uh, see 30 ones, okay, to help you if you have this kind of problem. First of all, of course, uh, why this key is so important? Because most of us, most of the humanity has this problem of self-confidence. It's not an exception, it's not marginal, not at all. It's even, once again, I repeat myself, a majority. Of course, as all the topics we are covering together, um, there is different um, layers, okay? There is a different scale, okay? Some people are um, absolutely not at all, okay, confident, and some of them, they are slightly not really confident, okay? There is a range, there is a kind of rainbow, there is different shades, this is important, okay? So we're gonna try to be uh, global and to have a holistic approach regarding that, okay? But what is really important is to consider that you're not an exception, you're not an alien, you're not uh, extraterrestrial because you feel um, not confident, it's happened to most of people. Second point, very important, is not a finality. It's like depression, it's like sadness, sorrow and so on. You are not sad, you are not um, like this. It's just a state of mind, it is punctual, it's not even a character, because the character is not fixed, it is not um, forever, it can change, okay? We saw it with the notion of parameter, reparameter, the brain is like, you know, um, uh, stretching, okay, it's like an elastic, okay? You, this is what we call neuroplasticity. We can have an impact and we can change a little bit, so we can adjust. Initially, I'm very, a very shy person. When I was young, until teenager and so on, even the fact to talk to people, I was always, a, a, you know, red, talking to a girl, I even don't talk about that. Um, and uh, yeah, before each meetings, it was difficult and so on. And I started to be, let's say, confident and completely at ease when I was something like 25, 26, like this, okay? So before that, I used to be a man uh, not self-confident. So what I try to tell you, it's happened to most of us. It's normal, it's human, it's up to you. You hear it like this, this is for different reasons that we're going to try to identify where it's coming from. It is inwardly, outwardly, is a mix of both. What's the, the proportion of that? This is the key point. So what is it concretely? Self-confidence is to accept yourself, okay, first. Secondly, is to be at ease with yourself and with um, the vision and the perception with the environment, your parents, your colleagues, your friends, and so on, okay? So you feel at ease and you feel comfortable with the perception of other people. This is this self-confidence. And last is a good balance in between uh, to, to have a lot of complex, you know, and so to extreme this and to show off, to be arrogant, oh, me, 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 I, 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 all the time different, okay? In between the two extremes, there is the middle path, okay? That to say, a normal person, um, okay, you know, it doesn't mean you're gonna be uh, Wonder Woman and Superman tomorrow, it's not that to be confident. Um, you know your weaknesses, and you know how to improve them eventually. You know that you could never improve, but it's not a big deal, it's not affecting. You're basically human, okay? No pressure on that. It's just you accept it. It's like this. You try your best to improve eventually, or you don't care because it's like this and okay, you have no need. But is this to be uh, confident, to be uh, uh, to, to feel at ease with yourself? Then 
um, concretely, what's the scope, what's the reason for being to, to feel at ease and to be, uh, to be confident? But first of all, it allows uh, to reach harmony, unity, okay, within yourself, okay, inwardly and uh, outwardly. What does it mean? To be in harmony with yourself and to be thereby in harmony with the world, with the society, the people, your colleagues and so on. This is really important. Secondly, what's the reason for being to be um, confident is um, it allows you to um, it allows you to realize your dreams, your dreams come true, and your project, and to be successful. Okay, uh, this is and to be satisfied of this. This is the top of the Maslow pyramid. That to say, self complacency. Okay. Um, uh, self-accomplishment, whatever the term is the same, is synonym. Um, so it is this. The third one is to avoid stress and the all negative feelings affecting your balance of life. Okay, when you're, you, your confidence usually reduces drastically the stress. It doesn't mean that you don't have stress. Personally, I'm very confident person nowadays. But before, when I have, for example, um, um, a conference, a lecture, uh, for example, for amphitheater with 200 people, just before, just a little bit before, um, 15 minutes before, I feel a, f a small stress and I like it. I love it. Okay, it's it's something like uh, it's it motivates myself. It's stimulating because I learn how to manage that. It's like a bubble of light, and then. Okay, I start, I, I feel like uh, at the beginning I start to talk and so on, and then in few seconds, okay, I say a joke, I have the, um, the audience, and then poof, the show can start. And then I'm full of um, uh, dopamine. And then I'm completely like in uh, altered consciousness. Okay, so the stress can be positive as well. But in general, I'm not stressed all the time because I have to talk tomorrow uh, in front of, I don't know, uh, 20 people, 30 people, or uh, a class and so on. It's happened to me almost every day. Okay, so I'm not talking about that. Oh, I have to do a, a no. Okay, so, but it's also because uh, the regularity. Okay, we'll see also. Um, then the fourth one, the fourth uh, reason for being to be, um, be self-confident is to love yourself, okay, to appreciate yourself. Extremely important, referring to the key um, unconditional love. The first person to love is yourself. Doesn't mean uh, uh, um, navel, gazing, navel gazing, sorry, uh, hashtag I love myself and I take picture of uh, me, 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 uh, it's not me too, it's me, 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 hashtag me, 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 and uh, you are just focusing on yourself and you are selfie, you're always taking selfie, selfish. No, it's not that, okay? It's just you love yourself is different. We will talk later about that. But to love yourself, why? Because it allows you to be loved. If, and especially for the couple, you know, and I lived that with someone who did not like herself, okay? And it's very difficult to manage that. Every time you, 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 you see the person and you, 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 you see her, they're beautiful and, and so on, and you say, oh, you're so pretty, and no, I'm ugly, and so on. This is, okay, one time, two times, because the person just wants to test you like a kid. Yeah, okay, why not? It's, it's cute. But when it's really deep and the person even doesn't know, and even, by the way, imagine she left me because she was not confident. She was feeling that I was her and one day I will cheat on her on end or I will leave her okay because of different experience of life she had but and it was in a certain extent ridiculous because I was appreciate her as she was like um, uh, a little bit innocent like this and also uh, fragile and so on I wanted to protect her you see so and well, anyway, it's life, and now the day I'm with um, uh, <laughs> um, a princess, incredible uh, a person is not the point. But just what I tried to tell you, that the complexity was within her. But the fact to love someone that doesn't like herself or oneself is difficult. That's why it's 
very, very important. And once again, I insist, it's not a question to, to, be in the, to be narcissistic, no. It's just to appreciate yourself as you are and or you improve yourself. But those who appreciate themselves, they vibrate something different. That's what we will see just after. And then most of people, they attract more people, not to seduce all the planet is not the point, but the uh, friendship and so on. So it's really, really crucial. Okay, then let's see some different techniques plus um, tips because I didn't separate. I just combine both aspects. is not a big deal. There is, there are 30 ones. Okay, so first of all, the first question is we, uh, we're going to see 10 different criteria just as a diagnosis, as an audit for you to visualize where this, uh, let's say, a lack of uh, self-confidence is coming from. Okay, the origin, because visualizing the origin is a half of the path to uh, solve the problem. Okay, this is really important. It's like in an addiction, it's important to visualize why and also to recognize it. Okay, this is half of the path already, of the way. Okay, so the first one is, do you think that, uh, once again, uh, it could be a uh, large scale, but do you think that um, this lack of self-confidence is coming from yourself or from other people? First question, okay? Binary, yourself, other people. Can be both in that case, but a percentage, okay? Secondly, in your childhood, do you used to live with parents always criticizing you and so on, and you were feeling down all the time uh, because of your education, because of your parents in general, and or your teacher and so on, your family in general. Second question. Take time for that. Uh, put the video on pause and so on. It's not necessarily strength away. You can just, okay, uh, uh, write and or just write the, 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 the question and then think about uh, within this day, tomorrow and so on, over uh, one week and so on, uh, one month and so on. J very important to see this diagnosis. Third, do you have a brother or sister or different ones uh, radiating, shining? and the whole attention was um, on them, okay? And in that case, you were in a shadow, in the shadow of the light of them, okay? This is important. Fourth, um, did, you, do you, did you suffer from the comparison with someone, okay? In general, not necessarily your brother or your sister, in general. Okay, do you compare yourself and did you suffer for comparison in general? Sometimes it's absolutely not rational. You can compare to always compare yourself to your brother or your sister and nobody is comparing. Your sister is not showing off. Um, your parents don't do at all this type of comparison, but you compare all the time with them. Okay, so it's important to see if there is comparison, where it's coming from, is yourself or it's other people. Is it rational or not? Rational or not rational, real, uh, doesn't affect the effect. Huh? It's the same, uh, same effect. Do you think that you missed uh, in the past, in your childhood and also currently, do you missed affection, okay, love, okay, from your parents, from your family in general? Six, do you missed, enfin, did you miss, sorry, uh, attention? Affection is different of attention, okay? Like uh, um, the interests, uh, they, they were interested in what you are doing, handling a sport and so on. They, they accompany you for a competition and so on, all this kind of thing. Did you miss that? Yes, no. Um, lack of recognition, okay? From your parents, from your family, from your environment and even today. Your boss never said to you, uh, because for him is like a weakness to say that's good when it's good uh, and so on. It's happened very often, okay, a boss, a manager, whatever, or colleagues in general, okay, your uh, children, uh, children, your parents, whatever, okay. <coughs> Lack of recognition. Um, do you know if uh, your parents desired you, wanted to have a baby when 
they add you. Okay, it can be a taboo, it can be, a, but it's really important. I'm going to tell you and share with you. Uh, my parents, um, um, I was born with the IU, uh, IUT, or oh, you know, um, you know the um, uh, contraceptive. You know this, uh, this inside the, the 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 body of the woman to avoid uh, to have a baby, and because actually I was born in January. They wanted a baby for beautiful days like a spring and so on. So they, they continued to have it. So I really wanted to struggle and so on. I had only, uh, uh, you have 95%, 99% nowadays, but in the past it was 99% chance not to have babies. I wanted to come, okay? So, but what I tried to tell you that I didn't suffer about that and it was not a bad thing from them. They just wanted, uh, you don't choose uh, which baby is not the a la carte you don't choose ah oh, i want this baby oh no this one is a uh, cuter and so on you take what happened okay so it was not the proper time for them but maybe it's affected a little bit uh, a little bit when i was a kid or when i was a teenager who knows i don't know anyway i don't reproach them anything because they, they gave me an amazing education with a lot of love when I arrived, they loved me and so on. But it's interesting to see, to visualize if it's the case for you. I have a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, um, <clears throat> is, is not confident regarding life and so on because uh, they didn't, they just discover, I think they just discover uh, she was pregnant when um, she w after six months. And then uh, it was a little bit denied. Okay, because they were not married and so on. You know, this kind of taboo happened very often. Okay, so uh, it can affect you. So this is interesting to visualize. Nine, key question, existential question. Are you useful? What are you um, uh, serving to? What's your reason for being? And in a certain extent, if you, are, if you die tomorrow, Who's gonna cry and what people would say? <sighs> Hard global question, okay. What are you here for? First, okay, <laughs> on this planet in general for life. Secondly, if you die tomorrow, what would be the reactions? So I invite you to take a lot of time to think about that. Of course, it's not straight away. Uh, it's quite existential question, okay, but very important. Last, um, do you like yourself? Do you love yourself? Do you like yourself? Do you appreciate yourself? Yes, no. Binary re reply. Yes, no. It's not maybe. It's not in between. Yes, no. Okay? 51% is yes. Um, okay? You understood the principle. Why? Why you like yourself? Why you don't like yourself? Okay? Very important. Now let's continue. Second uh, techniques or advice, try to define, um, <coughs> sorry, do you define yourself as confidence or uh, missing and lacking uh, confidence? Okay, it's binary, yes, no. Okay, then third one, on a scale between one to uh, or zero to ten, what's your degree of, what's the grade, what's the rate, what's the deg degree of uh, confidence? If you are ten, it means you are super confident. Okay, if you are at seven, you are confident. If you have two, it means you are not confident. Okay, zero, you're not confident at all. Okay, think about that. Try to list um, the different qualities that you have, competencies, um, uh, skills and so on. So it can be qualitative, quantitative, and so on. But try to define and try to visualize to read this um, this uh, list quite regularly. It will uh, um, generate some positive elements within yourself. Five, ask your environment, okay, um, friends, family, and so on, colleagues, uh, what are your qualities? not being complacent, not to be nice with you, okay? The real one, and for that, ask them to justify, okay? You shouldn't be, you know, uh, uh, just to be uh, nice with you. It's supposed to be uh, uh, logical and explain, and then you will see what's match with 
years and uh, the perception is interesting uh, exercise. Six, list your weaknesses. Okay, you visualize your weaknesses. Then you list how to solve this or if you consider it's a problem, if you consider you don't care, it's not a big deal. But if you have some weaknesses you would like, to, it's not vibrating and you would like to improve yourself to cope with this problem because it occurred as a problem, try to find a solution for that. How? Do you need some help? Do you need a therapist? Do you need um, a psych psychoanalysis and so on? Whatever, but try to visualize, okay? This is already a very important step. Okay, um, then um, seven, uh, ask to your environment, friends, family, and so on, um, uh, colleagues, to list your weaknesses, okay? And to, to see if it's matching with your own diagnosis and try to ask them some advice, some tips to improve yourself, okay? Maybe it will enlarge like a brainstorming the perspectives. Eight, list all the success stories you had, all the accomplishments you had, okay, in your life, within your life, okay? Same, try to read you regularly this list uh, of your success and your um, strength and your competencies, okay? This is, and your forces, this is important. Then I invite you, nine, to do Theater, okay. Theater doesn't mean necessarily classic theater like uh, Shakespeare or whatever. No, it can be also modern theater. It can be improvisation. No need necessarily to um, to belong to a club or whatever. You can organize it uh, with friends. With just you can be at um, two or three people, five people, four people maximum. Not so many because maybe you're shy. But at least try to and. Um, uh, let's say improvisation is very good because it's fun and uh, and but it's really it will I, I did it uh, when I was a teenager and so on it stimulates definitely your oral capacity your uh, diction the way you pronounce um, this structure your mind and so on okay um, and definitely it, it will give you more charism it will give you, develop your aura and so on. This is really important for good communication and so you will feel more confident. If you don't have so many people, three people or four people is not a big deal. And especially if it's uh, for fun, uh, that's fine, okay? This is important. Another technique, tenth, um, technique 10, is to, um, to do a maximum of uh, self-improvisation and or self-repetition uh, for a topic. For example, when I do that, I, I never change. You, know, you can see sometimes there is a small bugs. I never redo it, but I could do it. I could do it 10 times and so on. I has that to the orphanage age and so on, or even for, we do a lot of simulation for negotiation, whatever, or interview. I has them and those, for instance, I saw uh, two years, for example, since the beginning and now, they do a lot of self-development uh, like this as to, to film themselves through a camera for you, with their phone, smartphone, okay? And they just pitch, okay, now today I'm going to talk about this and so on and so forth. Then oh, did, I did a mistake and I redo and I redo and I redo. And the more they do like this, then Usually I ask them, you send me the final version you're satisfied with. Okay, it doesn't mean it's the perfection. It means that you're satisfied with. Maybe you're satisfied and you put a mark 80%. I could do it again, but now I'm tired with that. Um, okay, but this is important to, to see yourself talking and because it gives you more, it reinforces this self-confidence. And um, or you can also do another thing, is a course online, like there is a lot of platform, Udemy and so on, Skillshare and whatever, there is thousand, thousand exaggerate, but just the principle, if you have competencies, you can put online, okay? If you're a teacher, if you do music, if you do um, cuisine, cuisine and so on. This is a very, very good exercise. And also you will see some some reviews, some, um, some feedbacks and so on, okay, some, uh, uh, people criticizing you also for free. Of course, it's happened, as we say in French, criticizing is easy. Um, art is 
difficult, okay? Having a big mouth and always say, oh, shit, oh, no, 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 not happy, and so on. And then when you discuss with people, they don't do anything. This is super easy, okay? Always keep this in mind. Um, then I invite you um, to visualize um, if you did the best, if you did the maximum of your intention, your capacity. This is important. If, for example, you do a challenge, you do a competition, you, and your ranking is, I don't know, your 10th or 9th, okay, you reach the, the, and you realize that, ah, no, honestly, I was not really, uh, uh, um, I didn't have a lot of power, I didn't sleep well, and so on. If I do it again in one week, I can reach maybe uh, the third position and so on. Okay, or you say, honestly, knife is a, a miracle. I even finished the um, semi-marathon or whatever the, the, the competition. I'm very proud of myself. I did my maximum. Even if I do tomorrow, I'm not sure I could uh, reach it. This is also possible. But to visualize if you did your best first, this is one of the four um, Toltec uh, agreements. Okay, um, this is very important thing. And if not, try to visualize how to improve, okay? To improve, implying the notion of resilience, corrective actions to improve, okay? To be proactive. If you consider you need to do, huh? it's not uh, necessarily imposed. Um, then 12, the techniques of uh, repar um, reparameting, okay? Uh, parameter, reparameter is the key 39, uh, 35, sorry. You know, you can just use, I'm um, confident, I trust myself, and I trust the process of life, the living, for example. It can be the sentence. And this, um, I invite you to refer it to the book I wrote and titled Recreation is for free. You can download from my um, website. I don't ask an uh, email address, and so it's completely for free. And there is uh, um, four or five pages, okay, with the whole frame, the whole um, a structure you can just read and record your voice for 40 minutes roughly and in blue there is blue sentences you can this is what we call injection okay injection the main sentence the the the, the main topic on which you want to work on okay uh, that's to say you need to be more happy you will um, change the sentence regarding happiness or positiveness and so on you just want to be self-confident you will say quote the sentence I said or oh, you do by your own you change it you, you rephrase you reformulate up to you of course but this principle is extremely important because what you do concretely this is a kind of self-hypnosis um, you reparameter your subconscious and your subconscious once again is really the master okay it's like a tattoo if you just say uh, mentally your mindset is oh i feel confidence but inside is no you are not confident it means it is a tattoo okay you can clean up and say no 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 it's finished i'm confident now so but the tattoo is still there and the tattoo is what injected in your consciousness, in your unconsciousness, sorry, in your subconscious since your childhood, since, um, so it, you don't change it so easily, okay? But the fact to do self-hypnosis works very well. I said to you, if you do it regularly, not only one time like this, of course, this is a principle for like everything like you do regularly. Another key is the self, um, um, your uh, auto conditioning, okay, self conditioning. What they say, um, you repeat yourself. It's Coe method. Is a French, um, French uh, psychoanalyst, um, uh, scientist also. Uh, and this is the fact to repeat yourself. I'm confident. I'm confident. I'm confident. This is two different things, okay. Um, self hypnosis is more powerful. Is really injecting deeply. You dig very deeply. The second one is more on surface, but it's also affecting step by step with the regularity your subconscious. Okay, both combining work very well. So it's not one or try to do both at the same time. Okay, this is really important, at least for a certain period. And don't think that you will be uh, completely confident within uh, one week. Huh? It's not because you do that. Uh, no, it can take a few weeks, a few months, a few years still. It's possible. I'm not. Uh, telling you uh, bullshit, it's really up to you. But you face, you face 
killed you. This is what Jesus said to um, when he, he, he did some miracles. Your faith healed you. Okay, what does it mean? It is somatic. If you are considering that you can do it within one week, you will do it within one week. If you consider you need more time, you will need, you will need more time. That's the point, okay? It's really up to you. And what you definitely, you are convinced of the results. Um, very important as well is to try to be, to have a good environment of uh, people who, who, who recognize your talents, your capacity, even if you are shy and so on, doesn't mean anything, but they, they give you a certain values, okay? And on the other way around, so try to take this kind of people and other um, advice, 14, try to kick out, to kick out, to clean up all the uh, narcissistic, uh, perverse, all the people, they are systematically using sabotage. You know, they are always criticizing negatively. They are always, you know, using yourself to, to push you down and so on. Kick them out, kick them out. Okay, except if you are very confident, if not, you are too fragile, kick them out. Okay, and it can be for a while, it can be just, okay, I preserve myself, I just uh, short, uh, I mean, I don't have contact with uh, uh, this person for a while. I'm not telling you to, to, to cut uh, all the connection with your family, your clothes and so on, but this people is what we call energy vampire, uh, emotion vampire, they suck, you know. <sighs> your energy and so on and they are very negative for yourself for your self-development and your awakening and so on so try to do a self-development uh, once you're very confident maybe you can have access to these people to 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 challenge yourself to manage yourself but be careful about these people honestly this is it can be very dangerous this is what we saw for hypersensitivity this is also true for self-confidence okay Another point, uh, key uh, 15, is the positiveness, okay? The vibrations, okay? So <laughs> I gave you two different videos, one of two hours, the second one is one hour, um, 30 plus 30 keys to be happy, to be in harmony, harmony. Combining is 60. In the, in the book, which is for free, you can download from my website, I will put the references, um, there is 65. Okay, how to be happy basically, okay, is a state of mind, is a discipline, okay. If you do regularly, if it becomes a routine for you, you will change your life radically, I swear to you. It's not, uh, I, I, as long as you believe in it, of course, and it vibrates, of course, as well. But, and you don't need necessarily to do a 65, 60, 50, no, just only 10, 15, maximum 20 is already excellent. Your life will change um, completely. Okay, so I invite you, and why is so important? Because we are, once again, we are vibration. What you think, you become it. What you feel, you attract it. What you imagine, you create it. Buddha, okay? Magnetism, uh, okay? We are vibration, okay? So, like magnets, okay? Law of attraction. So, um, we have vibration. You remember Masuro Emoto experience with the water experience? I, I hate you, I fuck you, and so on. Okay, so um, the crystal, I mean, the, when we crystallize the water, it's really disharmonious uh, aspect patterns and so on. And on the other way around, um, if, for example, I love you, sweetheart, and so on, God, and so on, beautiful words, actually, it's very harmonious patterns. Within your body, you are made of 70% of water. So every time when you say, what the fuck, oh, yeah, I hate your fucking face, or in front of the mirror, what the fuck, I'm so ugly, and so on, you vibrate that, okay? On the other way around, if you say to yourself, I love you, I love myself, not to be selfie selfish, of course not, but you vibrate that, okay? So then, when you meet someone, oh, I don't know, I feel comfortable with these people, I like the, this, um, her presence or his presence, his charisma, his, Yes, something gentle, like a cocoon. We feel good and comfortable with this person, despite the physical aspect, the enveloped, okay? And you have more chance 
to, to be seduced, I mean, friend, for friendship and so on, but even for love in general, you're more, maybe more attracted by this person, even if she or he is out of the norms, the standards saying, this is beauty, this is not beauty, okay? But evolving with time, of course, but, you know, uh, someone not necessarily very handsome or very uh, pretty. Uh, she vibrates, she's a, she loves life, food, sex, a party, and so on. Okay, uh, she has always something positive in mind, and so on. You feel good with this person, and you really want to share more time with this person. And compared to that, stereotype, I'm not saying all the models are like this, but I have in mind an image like uh, almost black and white, you know, gray, you know like um, models, okay, you know, look, very thin, very um, almost uh, skinny, you know, no emotion, gray, and then just funny, I'm not attracted at all by this kind of person. And uh, like, you know, uh, robots, a humanity without any emotion. Okay, well, anyway, you understood the point. It's two extreme images, but it's like, you, are, you can be handsome and pretty if you're arrogant and you're always a bad person, you vibrate that. On the other way around, even if you... So it's really important. I insist so much. Positiveness is a key of awakening of harmony in general. You're gonna, be t you're gonna tell me it's obvious. If I'm positive, I'm happy. Yes, indeed. It's simple life, right? Um, so, but anyway, I really invite you to invest a bit of time with the skis and for you to, to, to practice, to put in practice daily, daily, um, in your daily life, some of them, uh, 10, 15 uh, different techniques. It's so simple and it will change your mind, change your, uh, your subconscious and you will change your life, basically. Improve it, okay? The techniques of the cows, as we say in the... K42, okay, imagine what's the worst? The worst, you die, okay? As uh, the Adit, Hadith, and the Sufi said, die before dying, which means literally take it out this pressure, okay? In worst case, you die. We all gonna die, okay? So, worst case, uh, just to develop a little bit. When I started my career, I was 24 years old. It was an extension of my work experience placements. I negotiate quite a lot. I challenge to get my job, and I get it. And uh, I just said to myself, okay, it's extra. Okay, so if I have six more months, okay, I did six months work experience placement. If I stay, because usually when they give you a contract, they don't fire you after six months, at least. So I was saying to myself, oh, it's great. It's one year, one year of experience, perfect. Congrats, I'm very happy. And in worst case, every time I was extending like this, so, oh, now it's one year and a half, now it's two years, worst case, they fire me, I already have two years of experience. And then I left five years, then I've been fired from another company, but I had seven years of experience, okay? So, in worst case, you are fired, in worst case, but you find back another job. There is a springboard, once again, keep this in mind, how many times you fall down 2,000 times before um, being able to walk. All the successful people, they failed many times before reaching the targets. Okay, so keep this in mind. Keep in mind that there is no perfection. This is divinity, divine, uh, divine perfection, and human is not at the perfection. Okay, so we can just improve ourselves, and it's not um, a big deal if we fail. This, whew, take it out a certain pressure. Yes, you start a couple. You can suffer, yes, matter of fact. Uh, she can cheat on you, uh, that's a matter at you, on you, uh, whatever. Uh, she can leave you, she can die, yeah, everything is possible. You know, on the um, cigarettes, it's written, smoking kills. We should put, be careful, living life kills, living kills. Oh, really? They didn't tell me. Yes, it's true. So. Once again, when you are out of this pressure from the other people and so on, you feel more relaxed. And um, you know the tight walk, um, uh, tight uh, rope roll curve? If it's super stressed, you have more chance to fall down. If it's comfortable, when you are floating in the water, in the sea and so on, if you're stressed, you soak, okay? If you're comfortable, you just float. It's the same precinct principle for life. <clears throat> I invite you to have some challenges, small challenges. For example, you say to yourself, okay, in the subway, I'm going to ask 
uh, what time is it to someone? Just for yourself. If you don't care, you have your uh, watch, okay, or you have on your mobile, and so on. Just try to discuss where is um, the path, and so on. You don't give a shit. This is just a pretext to, to, to try to establish a kind of communication, and it's a small challenge for you, and you will be satisfied of doing it step by step like this. Some small ones, or you decide to take a lead or to ask a question. Uh, in a meeting with, uh, I don't know, 10 people and so on. It's small challenges. Then another point is to give you uh, some rewards, some targets, some challenges, some objectives, and then some reward. You can show, okay, I'm very proud of myself. I talk um, in the, the meeting. Okay, I go to a restaurant. Okay, that's it, like this. It's uh, your own uh, reward. Like this, you capitalize and you feel comfortable. It's like self-training, uh -huh. it's self-coaching. Um, or if it's a very big one, uh, oh, I'm very proud of myself. I asked for um, to have a, an increase of salary. And they accept it because I was determined. I repeat with my camera and so on, and I did many times. Mr. Boss, I have this quality and so on. I did this result and so on. Oh, yeah, it's, a, it's a kind of exaggeration. Um, I didn't be improved, um, increased in terms of salary for the last two years, I think. I'm, I deserve, I'm, because I worth it, you're satisfied? Yes, I am. Okay, good, or you start, do, are you satisfied with my work? Yes, I am, okay. Okay, then you list all the positive things you brought. And then for negotiation, okay, and the access to your demon. I um, think it would be fair to have, but we can discuss and so on. I, I, I need this salary, okay? And, uh, and then if you, you successful, I mean, you succeed with that, you can just go for holidays and then celebrate life in general, in general. This is really important. You have your own challenges and in parallel of that, 18, to celebrate your small victories, okay? Very important, 19, is to love yourself, okay? The, the esteem of other people is our mirrors, okay? If you love yourself, people will love more yourself, okay? And this is uh, reciprocal, this is mutual um, love and is extremely important for the reason we saw before. I invite you also to do the activities of martial arts, okay? Why? Because it's, it will give you more, um, let's say, le legitimacy uh, for, for example, punching. If you, you play chess and, oh, I know I'm gonna win. Do you gonna excuse yourself because you, you, you won? No, you do it, it's the game. So it's like this, or video game, whatever. So it's the same. You have the right to punch and to do this, this technique and so on. And also this is really a capacity to adapt, to impose yourself and so on. And to be calm, to be self-confident. It's not aggressivity at all, it's art, okay? And the real masters, they are very calm. They don't want to fight and so on like kids or those who have a problem of self-confidence. It's another story. But it will maybe encourage you, ground you, okay, more in, the, in this notion of self-confidence. Then I invite you also to avoid the comparison in general. It's useless. Do you, will it bring you something more? No, except frustration. And be careful about social uh, network, social media in general. Why? Because most of them, they are, f sorry, uh, fucking fake. This creates so much frustration, you know? It's like uh, a square. Imagine here, I'm just uh, in a pyjamas or I'm, I'm naked. Imagine, I'm completely naked. You don't see it? Okay, so apparently I'm respectful and maybe I just, uh, well, it's an image and of course it's not true, but who knows? It's just a square. Maybe it's full of garbage here and so on. It's disgusting or I'm, I'm not clean at all and uh, I pretend to have a certain hygiene of life. We never know. Okay, social media, uh, people, uh, you know, Instagram and so on. They, oh, I, I saw the picture and so on uh, in your vacation in Seychelles. Apparently it was fantastic, it was amazing. They, you are so beautiful, you are so shining. <gasps> Don't talk about that, it was horrible, it was a nightmare. We just fight all the time with my partner and so on. Oh, really? Yeah. But the picture you put, pretend that you are super happy. And the goal is no weaknesses in this world of perfection, of, uh, you know, Photoshop life, because it's a Photoshop life. Oh, I have a, uh, a spot here. Oh, my goodness, I have a spot. You saw that in my videos, I have a spot I decided the day before to do my, my record. 
today is not very beautiful weather, I do it. As long as it's not raining, I don't want to sanitize my videos and so on. They have to be organic. You see, I never cut anything. I need, never do it again because it's like this. Okay, I uh, face like this because I, I wake up uh, a bit late. I don't care and you don't care. You judge me, you don't judge me. I never say to you just one remark. I never say, ah, oh, please uh, like, please um, uh, subscribe. Uh, you are not kids. You do if you want. You don't do, uh, it's not for me. Uh, personally, the like, I don't give a shit, honestly. Uh, I, I just would love that people understand, second, they apply. And if it vibrates, it doesn't vibrate, it's not a big deal for me. I just did what I had to do, that's it. Okay, I'm not the dictator of uh, what is good, what is bad, and so on. So this is super important. And the social media creates just an illusion. It's like Hollywood. Hollywood, come on. Okay, so everybody uh, wake up uh, in the morning with a beautiful makeup. Uh, you don't smell from the mouth. Uh, you're always, uh, I mean, it's fake, guys. Uh, do you know a couple like this? No, I don't. Um, most of the stars are never ticks. So what the fuck? It's completely fake. Social media is the same. So just whew, why I'm saying that, maybe you will laugh about that. It just for have a certain sarcasm, certain humor, also to desacralize the comparison of people. A lot of people, they have their burdens. A lot of people, they are suffering. A lot of people, they are sad, not apparently, is just shallow. And if you dig a little bit, you will see the, the frontier of the nothingness most of the time and a lot of pain and suffering, okay? But don't compare, okay? Don't compare is useless. It will never bring you nothing except frustration, okay? Except if you want to be inspired with positive people and so on, you admire, it's possible. I admire and I need mentors. This is what I, I wrote. In, um, in my book, Recreation, uh, Einstein, uh, Saint-Exupéry, uh, Buddha, uh, and so on, some other people, Gandhi, I'm very proud of them. I'm like um, <laughs> human beings, I'm proud of them. I'm inspired by these people. So I need mentors and also, uh, uh, let's say that I'm my humble human scale, uh, I have um, examples of life. And I need that, but the rest, uh, the bullshit, oh, he has a, an amazing, uh, a bigger car, I don't have car, a bigger spool, pool and so on, what the fuck, what do I, uh, our kids, this is really the principle, I pee further than you, okay, this is the same principle, <laughs> I invite you to think about that, okay, don't ask for any approval, approbation, okay, approval, confirmation and so on, you do, that's it, do and be, okay, that's it. Don't ask anything. When I went, I've been fired and my girlfriend left me when I was 30 years old, uh, just a few days after my birthday. Happy birthday, uh, thank you. Uh, but it was a beautiful rebirth. Huh? Every, every, everything collapsed and also I didn't have so many friends. I went to, to, to Shanghai where I find a job and so on and I started a new life alone. No friends, nothing. And I redesigned the life and what I wanted to be. It has been an amazing experience because I could be something different, someone different. And you can see, if you see some childhood friends and so on, they give you the projection of what you was in the past. You evolve, they evolve, but sometimes they, they, are, they are still fixed on the previous images and so on. But don't ask for any approval to change. You change, that's it. And don't, uh, it's not... Um, is just that do for yourself as long as you feel aligned. Aligned. Ask, pray if you want. God help me, or whatever the source, Mother Earth, and so on, help me to, to, to be completely aligned, to have more force to do things and so on. And then believe in yourself. This is really important. Okay, you're gonna tell me it's a little bit obvious to be self-confident. Indeed, all what I say is seems to be common sense. Huh? Um, just one thing, even for the gesture for the body language, you know, uh, in negotiation, in the course I give, I can talk about two hours, three hours of the body language, the way we are communicating, okay? If you're like this, um, the, um, like this on, the, on the desk, you're more active to challenge her for an interview and so on. If you're like this and so on, of course, show, it doesn't show a certain motivation, but just the fact, the stand, the stance, Okay, you feel like this, a line, okay? 
your strength. Okay, this is changing because most of people, they excuse a little bit to be alive. No, be like this. No, no show off like this. Uh, no, of course not. It's not that. It's just to feel comfortable with yourself. It changed already. And your expression, talk, not, hey, you are right. No, it's not like this. But talk with a certain um, affirmity of your voice. Okay, you are there. Don't excuse to be there. You are what you are. Improve yourself. But this is really important. The more you will do like this, there is an effect. Um, um, when I, I like this more in casual, I feel more casual. If I have my title, like my profile on LinkedIn, a little bit strict, I feel more strict and maybe more elegant, more uh, well-mannered, like, you know, British, uh, uh, cool twizzy and so on. Okay, is a kind of actor uh, with a different costume. And even the fact to be uh, like this, you affect your mindset in general. If you're more like this, if you do sport and you feel more confident and you feel already more anchor. That's why sport is so to develop your muscle if you need, if you feel more, uh, it's not to be too much to fit in the in the cells imposed by the society saying this is beautiful, six packs is the norm. No, it's not that. I don't have six packs. But it, it, and it's not only physically uh, what I try to tell you, but sometimes we do sport for healthy, for energy and so on. But in parallel of that, it can bring you as well a self-confidence as well. This is, but just the fact to stand like this is important. Um, to accept yourself, okay, with your emotion, with your weaknesses, otherwise you're a robot. Are you a robot? No. Do you like to be a machine? No, I'm not sure. Uh, so, uh, em no emotion. We are suffering of not having emotion. Those who are uh, psychopaths, they don't have emotion. That's why most of them, they, they kill and so on, to create emotions. When we pass away, we don't have emotion anyway, any, anymore. That's why the ancestor has so much. That's why in tantrism, um, the gods, the experience of the divinities, one part of uh, unique god, Brahma, um, try to express uh, themselves through us with the fresh, you understand? So emotion is not a limit, emotion is a treasure, a human treasure. This is important. Um, the responsibility, the self-responsibility, don't outsource. This is one of the f very important things of the process of awakening and self-development. Uh, don't reproach to all the world. This is always the fault of my neighbor, um, the, uh, the fault of my stepmother, of my wife, of my kids, of my parents, of my education, of my country, of my uh, blah, 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 my, uh, my period of time and so on. Okay, it's never my fault, okay? Okay, it can be due to personality and we saw persona, persona, this is the layers that uh, um, shape your personality, your identity, your ego. Okay, as we saw in the key nine, it's a matter of fact, your education, your parents, your uh, culture, your society, your religion eventually and so on, all this shape your mind, your set, your personality. Then it's up to you to be someone else, to design someone else, as I did when I went to Shanghai um, uh, in 2010. Okay, so it's the same principle. It's really up to you, but don't outsource, okay, delegate the responsibility from other people. It's a kind of maturity. For example, I, I try to do a maximum of things I try to share with you, be the change that you want to see in the world. I'm never going to say, um, uh, this is the fault of the fucking system and so on. This is the consequences of other people's corruption. This is a co-responsibility. I'm co-responsible of this, uh, this situation. My kid, when he, he talks, um, I, will, I will tell him that this is the daddy's co-responsibility and mommy as well. Okay, we try our best to change and to improve and so on, but we did. We participate of production, consumption and so on, and we are all part of it. Except if you are in a cocoon or in a cave, but it's very rare, okay? So, important not to outsource the responsibility, very important. To be authentic, authentic, what does it mean? It means be yourself, you're not a character that the society wants that you be. 
okay? It means sincerity as well. You can, you have the right to say what you feel, why you feel that. Okay, I'm a bit, um, I, I'm painful because you say something, a remark, and honestly, it's affect me. Say it to people nicely, gently, and so on. It's uh, no need to, 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 to feel uh, frustration with that. Release these emotions nicely with a good communication, nonviolent communication. We will see this key later. Empathy and um, nonviolent uh, non communication in the key uh, uh, 52, um, something like this. Uh, so, um, very important people appreciate, I mean, real friends appreciate authenticity, okay? Uh, to be frank not uh, fake, hypocrisis and hypocritical and so on and so forth, okay? Um, keep in mind that those who are showing off most of the time is because they miss some uh, recognition, they miss, they have a lack of confidence and so on. It's just a masquerade. This is just a mask. This is just a pretension. This is just shallow. This is just in your face. Keep this in mind. So you will feel more are so um, detached from everything. So this big masquerade, as I told you many times. Visualization, i referring to the key 38. Visualization, um, this is co-creation. For example, you have a meeting tomorrow and you are a little bit afraid because you will have to take the lead and to talk about a topic for 10 minutes in front of your colleagues. It's only, there are only 10 people, but you feel stressed. Okay, visualize. Okay, you, are ju you just stand up. You are talking, you express properly, you smile, you're confident, you feel good. Everybody is laughing, not because they, they laugh at you, but because you, you say some jokes sometimes. They applaud at the end, like standing ovation, and you visualize a maximum of detail, even the tie of your boss and so on. And then you, you do checks and so on like this. You, you really are in a good vibration of feeling well. And you can also um, repeat, repeat, as I told you with a video like this, you can uh, visualize. Hello, uh, hello uh, ladies and gentlemen, or hello everybody. Today I'm gonna introduce and gonna talk about that, that, that agenda, and then a short joke at the beginning, just to, to take the atmosphere, to take the audience and so on, all this. But the visualization is a miracle for many things. And then, uh, last but not least, this is referring to the key 35, the reparameter to change your subconscious with self-conditioning, with the fact self-hypnosis, this is really important. The whole success of your improvements and to be more confident within yourself, with yourself, with people, with the process of life, the living, is really up to you, depending of state of mind, discipline, a kind of regularity. It will not change necessarily in one second, it's really up to you. As long as you believe in yourself, as long as you believe in the existence, in the living one, all right? This is only one key for you to shape your master key to open up the door of consciousness, of the you, why, or unity, if you want, if you need. Of course, as you know, all the roads lead to Rome and to home and to the Dome. Thank you for your attention and see you very soon.